and I'm going to do a message, and then I'm going to have a prophetic interpretation. Not a prophecy, but a prophetic interpretation. Uh, kind of a little different, but we'll have to do with it. And if you'll see the picture of the Eastern Gate, that's where yeah. it needs to be. If we don't fly away. What? If we don't fly away. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I, I pray your blessings on this message. Help me to say the things you want me to say. Help me not to say anything that is contrary. Help me not uh, not to say anything to produce fear, but help me to, to encourage people to pray and to seek your face. Oh, Lord, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, a lot war is something a lot of you think what do you think of war it's bad well it depends on what it's for I mean war against the, 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 okay. the Revelation 12 there look at it and there was war where in heaven. In, heaven. in heaven Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought against his angels there was war in heaven. War is ongoing. And uh, we need to, as Christians, we need to engage this war. Uh, because we give up and quit, we actually cause more problems. Uh, God wants us to war for the things of God. In 2 Corinthians 10, 4, and 6, for the, we, I used this verse last week. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ, and having a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. What I want you to see there is what's highlighted. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. <clears throat> our weapons are not bows and arrows or guns or things like that. What are our weapons? Praise. 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 Worshiping God. Love. Praying. Uh, okay, love. But it's, it's, it's warfare involves the speaking part. Yeah. You know, we speak. God, God's rulership and God's control over things. God wants us to declare that he is in control. We don't need to give up and let the devil take over. We really don't need to do that. And if we can, will pray, we can change the future. How many of you would like to change the future? Yeah, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? If we pray, we can change the future. We really can. <clears throat> I have on there a picture of the Eastern Gate. If you see that. Uh, when I was a kid, and you can say that was a long time ago, <laughs> for all my life, <laughs> preachers have said, prophets have said, over and over and over again that the uh, that when Jesus comes back he will go through the eastern gate right there also called the golden gate I didn't know that until I looked it up where's it located Dave? in Jerusalem it's on the temple mount it was sealed up uh, back when the when the temple was destroyed and all that, they sealed this up shortly thereafter, and it's been sealed up. And what the, has always been said is that it was sealed up, and no one's to walk through that gate until Jesus walks through it. Okay. Uh, not, not far from this gate is the um, way, uh, Wailing Wall. Does anybody know about the Wailing Wall? Uh -huh. Yes, I know. It's, it's in Jerusalem. It's uh, 
Um, most people believe it to be the foundation of a Solomon's Temple. It's still there. As a matter of fact, uh, oftentimes dignitaries, uh, people of fame, go there and they write a prayer request out and they put it in, in the Wailing Wall. You can actually mail a prayer request to the Wailing Wall. I don't know if you know that. You can write an envelope, send it to the Wailing Wall, and they'll go to Jerusalem, and somebody will fold that up and put it in between the, the uh, stones. Uh, so the uh, Wailing Wall there, uh, did you know that whenever the at one time they had a very severe problem between the Muslims and the Jews. Here the Jews are going to the Wailing Wall. The Muslims have all the rest of it, and they have this one wall. What did the Muslims do? They would throw rocks at them. They were up on the mountain, and they would throw rocks to the people down below, up against the Wailing Wall. There's been conflict, conflict, conflict in, in Jerusalem. What do we pray every a week or almost every week? That there would be peace in Jerusalem. Don't we pray that? Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, we added uh, another part here recently is that praying that the vineyards not be bulldozed, bulldozed down. Uh, the present administration wants to stop all new settlements and they want the vineyard, some of the vineyards in Jerusalem to be bulldozed down. What's wrong with the vineyards? If they want to give it to, give it to the Muslims, just give it. Now, why do they have to bulldoze it? I mean, it just is the most ridiculous, disgusting thing I can think of that they, they govern, our government will actually ask the Jewish people to bulldoze the grapevines in Jerusalem. They take years to develop and then they will last a hundred years. I don't know if you know that, but it takes, I don't know how long, say 10 years, five years, it takes a while to get a, a grapevine growing and producing it. But once it starts producing, then you just have to trim it and keep it going. But it will last for a, a hundred years. Um, yeah, that's one of the few plants you can actually get insurance for, by the way. Uh, yeah, you can't get insurance for this tree or anything else, but you can get insurance for a, a, a grapevines if you own a vineyard. Uh, all this thing, there is a lack of willingness to let the Jews have their own homeland. It is very severe, very, very severe. Um, and it is getting worse by the day. As a matter of fact, they call Israel the one atomic bond state. You know why they call it that? Mm -hmm. One atomic, one atomic bomb, and the country is done away with. It's that small. You can put one atomic bomb and destroy the whole country. Did you realize that? No. In the United States, if we had an atomic bomb go off, we would still survive, wouldn't we? Uh -huh. Oh, good few of us at least. Yeah, you know, I mean, I hope we need to pray that that doesn't happen. But if it happened, it, we would still survive. In oh. Israel, it would only take one. And who has promised to bomb Israel with an atomic bomb? Iran. Iran, oh, man. Iran has promised to do that. And, and by the man? way, they say they have enough uh, material to make more than one bomb, several bombs. And uh, it's only a matter of time till it happens. They have passed over it, and they, they're 
just a matter of putting it together. Um, in Zechariah 12, verse 9, And it shall come to pass in that day that I, God, will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. God will destroy. God will make a war with all the ones that tried to destroy Jerusalem. Why? Because God has declared that Jesus is going to put his feet down on the Mount of Olives. And he's going to rule from Jerusalem. And I also believe that the temple will, will be built. Um, Revelations 11, uh, 1 and 2 talks about the cornerstone. All right, and it also talks about the Gentiles in uh, Monta Judah. Uh, he says that the Muslims will have part of the Temple Mount and the Jews will have another part. But it is very important that we have the temple built. And that's one of the things that's been being said among a, a lot of uh, prophets not right now is that it is the time for the temple to be rebuilt. And, uh, but the politics is very hard. The Muslims have the whole top uh, of the Temple Mount, and the Jews only have one wall. You think they could share a part of it? No. Yeah, they could. They could, but they won't. Yeah. They actually also, one of the reasons why I put this, um, uh, <clears throat> picture on here is that um, of the eastern wall, eastern gate, is because they, the Muslims now want to take the Muslim eastern gate and turn, open it up, and dig out behind it and put a, a mosque there. They want to build another mosque. They already have, they have the Dome of the Rock, and they have an Al Aska mosque which is kind of hidden because it's dug in and they want to do that again and have three mosques in Jerusalem right there on the Temple Mount. But they don't want the Jews to have one temple. But I really believe it is not God's will for them to have the Eastern Gate. I believe the Eastern Gate is just that. It's for Jesus to use when he comes. Um, and see, other countries put, Jerusalem is the only place in the world where other countries tell uh, other people what to do. I mean, to tell Jerusalem what to do. Other countries tell them what to do, when they can build, when they can't build, they can't do this, they need to give this land up, and this. that is done by other countries. The only place in the world that that's done. All over the world, each country makes their own decisions, but not in Jerusalem. And that is that is so bad. Ob Obadiah, Obadiah is just a short book. You can say Obadiah one if you want to. Obadiah verse fifteen: For the day of the Lord is near, and all the heathen, as you have done it shall be done to you. Your reward shall return on your own head. You got that? Your reward, what you've done to Jerusalem, will be done to you. What happens if America is able to make Jerusalem to buy uh, bulldoze uh, grapevines? Something will happen to us. As we have done to them, and we're telling them they have to give part of Jerusalem to their capital. The capital is Jerusalem. They have to give their capital to another country and let this is only in only Jerusalem has other people telling them what to do. No one else does, does that except for in that. This is two prophecies that you never want to be turned against the United States. 
You never, never want this. That's why we got to pray, and we got to pray, and we got to pray. Our warfare, see this is our warfare, is to pray that America will not be part of those who try to divorce, divide Jerusalem. Because if we're part of those who divide, try to divide Jerusalem, i.e. try to keep Jesus from ruling from Jerusalem, Got it? Do you want to try to stop Jesus from ruling from Jerusalem? No, ever. So we need to make it a warfare. This needs to be what we we make it a warfare. It's something we pray constantly. I pray this not every day. I goof sometimes, but I pray this that we will not be part of those who divide Jerusalem. Because if we're part of those who divide Jerusalem, Obadiah 15. As you have done, it will be done to you. So we, we got to pray for this. And we got to pray now. Because we're coming up to the time. I thought this would happen years ago. I thought it would happen eight years ago. It came very close to the United States doing it. And the prophecy is... Whenever America divides Jerusalem, the Mississippi River, the New Madrid Fault will go off. And the last time the New Madrid Fault went off, church bells in Boston rang. That is, the New Madrid Fault is the worst fault in the United States. Nobody, very few people know that. And it, the last time it went, the Mississippi, instead of going down south, it went towards what is now Chicago. It went backwards. You do not, you do not want this to happen. It will be a destruction that will cause great harm to this country. And so it is our warfare that we pray that America will have no part in dividing Jerusalem. If other countries want to do it, that's not for me to say. I'm not going to get involved in it. But for America, it needs to be something we need to be praying. You can keep this piece of paper to remind yourself. And we need to pray that Zechariah 12, 9 and Obadiah 15 does not apply to the United States and America will have no part and dividing Jerusalem. Zechariah 14. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives. That's Jesus, which is before Jeru Jerusalem on the east. And the Mount of Olives shall cleave, cleave in the midst thereof towards the east and towards the west. And there shall be a great valley, and half of the mountain shall be moved towards the north, and half of it towards the south. Acts 15. After this I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down. And I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will sell it, set it up. It is time for us to also pray that the tabernacle be or a temple be built in Jerusalem. It is time for it. Because Jesus is going to come back to a temple. See, the thing of it is, the devil doesn't want Jesus to come back and rule. And so we need to pray that this temple be built and that America has no part in dividing Jerusalem. That is what we have got to pray for. And when we pray for that, God will hear our prayers and answer it. But it's very, very important that we pray that. All right. I want to uh, close on a more hopeful end. Uh, I like how Bobby had the, the songs that we sung today were all about no fear, taking the fear away. God does not want us to fear. Fear is of the devil. Fear controls and it destroys. All right? Those of you... Where could I go? Have you ever heard that song? Yes. 
All right, I want you to sing it. Where's your paper, Adam? How are you going to sing? Oh. Um, can I ask a question? Yeah, won't you wait until we sing this? Sorry, Pastor Ivy. I didn't know I was going to need it again. All right. I want you to sing with me. We might sing it twice. One time for practice and one time for real. All right. So don't worry about how we sound sound the first time. You ready? Yep. Where am I? Um. On the back. On the bottom. All right. Yes. No wonder I couldn't find it because here I got both. Okay. Are you ready? I shall be soon. Living below in this so sinful world, hardly a comfort can afford. Striving alone to face temptation, so where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul, needing a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? All right, let's do that a little better. Uh, Desiree, won't you come on up here? <laughs> you did good. <laughs> you did better than me. <laughs> so I need help. You need help. Yeah, I need lots of help. <laughs> well, we're going to see it again. Because uh, when we can go been to recording. God in prayer about this, right? And we can see complete victory. All right. Oh, it is so simple world. Hardly a comfort can afford. Striving alone to face the temptation so. Where could I go but to the Lord? Where could I go? Oh, where could I go? Seeking a refuge for my soul. Needing a friend to help me in the end. Where could I go but to the Lord? You can go to the Lord. We don't have to be afraid. God doesn't want us to be afraid. I'm not afraid. afraid. He is going to take care of us. But we do need to pray to keep trouble away from us. All right? All right, Paula. You had a... What were we doing at 9-11 with Israel? What we was America? No, that, that was... Uh, were we involved in something? That, that was... No. 9-11 was a Saturday. That's we're not doing that's anything that's else. That's when you, we didn't do anything special. No, I'm we, talking about as a nation, what was America involved in? Were they supporting Israel at that year? That is a separate mm -hmm. issue. Uh -huh. I don't think those were really related. Uh, that's not the only way you get trouble. But if you know, <coughs> I'm walking down the street. Can I get in trouble? Yep. Yeah. 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 But, yeah, well, yeah, I got in trouble yesterday almost. You okay. heard the harbinger book. But the harbinger. If, if I call someone up and say, hey, I don't like you, and I'm going to walk down the street, is that asking for trouble? Oh, yeah, yeah kind of, yeah. Okay. You can ask for trouble, or tr you know, trouble will come to you. But when we divide Jerusalem, if we have part of that, we are asking for trouble. Different ball game. Different ball games. I mean, we get trouble. There's a, there's people always trying to hurt people, right? Right. And there are people. There are countries and there are groups of people that always want to hurt America. But we can be protected by uh, blessing Israel. If any, Paul, well, I will say this. If anything was the case, people were getting cold and were uh, dropping out of churches. They weren't reading their Bibles. And on uh, September the 12th, guess what? People started reading their Bibles. People started going to church. Oh, yeah, I just Sure did. It lasted for about six months and then it died off. But it, it did last for six months. I God, God's going to work 
but it's going to be different this time. I, I to All we need to do is make sure America doesn't cause trouble for it itself. That's all you need to focus on. And then pray for revival. And I think this Batavia crusade will bring revival. All right? Any, anybody else? What's that? What's that? I need prayer. You need prayer? I need prayer. I need some prayer. Okay, what do you need prayer for? I need prayer for.